What I remember most about getting into science and how my education influenced me was a project in elementary school where one of our teachers in science class made us mix baking soda and vinegar to make a volcano. And physically seeing something change and trying to understand what caused that really caught my attention. And that's what turned me on to science. I think it's important to know that a lot of people who I think are doing the most interesting environmental analysis actually have a varied background. So my bachelor's degree was in marine science and working with estuarine analysis and understanding coastal zone management policies. My master's degree was in political science, trying to understand the more social side and policy side of things that happen. I worked in state government for a while in the state energy office in South Carolina and then came back into geography where I found I could bring all these things together. And while those particular fields people may not have experienced individually, I think it's important to understand that if you want to do really good integrated environmental analysis, you have to have an interdisciplinary focus. And even though that sounds like an oxymoron, it's really not. I have been using GIS or Geographic Information Systems for a while in a job as a policy analyst doing spatial analysis of where people lived in proximity to hazardous waste sites and seeing the impacts of those decisions on people's lives and people who didn't live in the area as well. And in the course of taking more classes on GIS, I ended up taking a class in remote sensing and I absolutely fell in love with it because remote sensing combines the technology and spatial analysis with having to understand the biophysical meaning behind a lot of different ecological and environmental processes and having the science and technology together was great. And then when I learned that in order to do a really good job of it, you had to be outside a good portion of the year, I was completely sold. Uh, field work is great because you never know a place like you know it when you're immersed in it and ideally you're not staying in some cushy hotel, you're actually out in the environment, you're talking to people that live in the area, you're eating the food which sometimes is fabulous. I fell in love with Thai food working on my dissertation project in Thailand and some of the food is squiggly and squirmy and, and kind of yucky but that's just part of what doing field work is all about.